Hey everyone, so I am excited to present a new versus series. So we got Timothy Chalamet versus John B or Chase Stokes, as you know him, but a lot of you just know him as John B. Uh, so let's start with Timothy Chalamet. All right, we all know and love his hair, and which is better, which is easier to work with. So he obviously has very, very thick hair, and this is more of a wavy type of hairstyle. So I've always noticed that the top tends to be a little bit you know, longer and heavier. Uh, you can see those different lengths throughout the top and the sides, the shape of it. That simply is because his hair is layered. Now, let's just take this as an example. <clears throat> this photograph here, he's got a lot more of the wave and curl going on because simply his hair is shorter. So if you're looking to get more of a enhanced wave or enhanced texture, when your hair is like this, you need to actually cut it shorter. And I would suggest using a product like my Tidal Wave or any one of my other products to help kind of as far as a, uh, a curl enhancement or something like that, like a styling product that I have, which is which is good for that. Like my Success Paste could be really, really good for something. There's Power Cream if you want more of an extreme hold. Uh, and once again, we're back to the image of where you can see the top of his hair is now getting a bit longer here. And then what's going to happen is it's going to weigh down those curls. So if you want to have a wavy hairstyle and you don't want it to be so poofy, then you need to have the top a bit longer, still slightly layered, but you can see all the layering is happening towards more of the bottom half of his haircut. And that's how you're getting the bottoms to flip up a bit more. That's how you're getting, you know, that texture to kind of, show a bit more and here's another example of that now even look at his sides here his sides are actually a bit uh longer and you can see the very very top it comes down probably to his his you know bottom lip or almost chin if you were to take the hair and pull it straight down so by having that length on top that's going to actually help camouflage and weigh down some of that shorter more wavy or even slightly curlier hair throughout the sides and the back. So that's another little tip or trick you can do is, is you know, it's all about getting the right haircut and finding the right shape. But if you leave the top longer, it's always going to weigh down. Now here he is with his hair much shorter and you can see that uh, he may have maybe blow dry this a little bit more, but you can see that, you know, you can achieve a somewhat straighter look if you do have wavier hair, and that's just by blow drying it, by styling it, this could be, you know, something where you use my matte pomade, my crafted matte pomade to kind of help tame down the hair a bit more. So here again, when the hair is a lot shorter, depending on how it's cut, you could see that the top here is longer, but the sides are much, much shorter. So that's going to give it the illusion of it being less wavy because there's not as much hair throughout the sides and the back. So now... We're going to change things up. We've got Chase here, uh, also known, you know, everyone knows him as John B. And he has, I would say, not as wavy of a natural hair texture as uh, Timothy. And you could see and in some of the photographs I'm going to show, you know, this is something where it's going to be a little bit easier uh, to manipulate getting a wavier hair texture because his hair is a little bit straighter than Timothy. So you can actually shape the hair and mold it and sculpt it a little bit easier than if you were to say have really, really thick wavy or curly hair. It's just a little bit easier to maintain. But once again, you could see here that the top is longer. However, with this, because it's layered, that's how we're able to get those that kind of like feathered or textured look, textured look. I've done numerous hair videos of this hairstyle here on YouTube. So you can just search John B, the salon guy, Timothy Chalamet, the salon guy. I've done in-depth hair tutorials and haircuts of these individuals. So you can watch them here on my channel. Uh, again, Tidal Wave is probably ideal for something like this. Now, if you don't have your hair layered, it's just going to fall straight down and very, very flat, right? This is an interesting photograph, which I'm sure many of you have seen on Google, is where you've got a lot of the ends flipping upwards. Now, this can be achieved 
by simply utilizing your hands as a styling tool, or you can use one of my round brushes and actually flip the hair up and then just start to kind of mess it up. These types of looks, sometimes the more you try to mess it up, actually the better it comes out. So you're going to kind of rake your hands or your finger, actually your fingers into the hair and just kind of lift and, and then start to reset and replace everything so it's not just one big out of control mess. Here's another example where his hair, now he does have very thick hair as well, but you can see the texture is a little bit more layered and that's how you're able to achieve making it look like it's a lot more wavy. Now I know there's been different seasons of the Outer Banks and his hair has been slightly different in them, uh, so sometimes a little bit shorter. So having the top, again, you notice that the top is never really, really short. It all happens from like the sides. Once again, here's another example of the top being longer. So it's weighing down that top and those corners. And you can see it's almost fairly square right into here. That's because the corners of the hair are left longer. So if you are somebody who does not want your hair to poof out and your hair is somewhat straight, then leave the top longer, slightly, slightly layered, and then have a lot more layering throughout the sides so you can flip it up, you can have that texture, you can mess it up a little bit more, and you can scrunch it and make it a lot wavier than it is naturally. I mean, you could take someone who's got perfectly pin straight hair and, and style it to where it's wavy, and you've seen me do it in my YouTube videos here. So if you are interested in purchasing Tidal Wave or any of my products, use code YouTube20, and let me know in the comments below, who do you think has better hair? And make some suggestions on who you'd like to see a, you know, versus uh, with in my next video. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.